Hi and welcome in this video. I'll show you here a little sneak peek into one of my online course drawing lessons. My students draw such detailed focused tutorials in my drawing courses. This is a lesson about drawing a cat face. I show you here how to draw the part of the fur below the eye. So enjoy watching. So let's use the Bista here again for the base layer. Just mapping in here the ochre brown. Here it's again, then darker we need here the black and the dark sepia. So just mapping in here the Bista here too. We need, so just mapping in here the Bista and here below too. And then we have here the, the lighter part between. Mapping in here one layer of the Bista. Blend it. Then let's also map in here the ivory. So map, let's map in here ivory around this darker part here. Here it's lighter on the right side below the, the black stripe. Just map in here the, the ivory and blend it. So it's just the first base layer. And then I would say let's go over it here with the black. Let's go in here with the black and let's start drawing those black hairs here starting at the corner of the eye and let's add lots of black hairs that are going here to the right side. Going to the right direction here. Here we have lots of black so let it overlap a little bit and map in more black color here. It's really dark. We also can map in here uh, the, the dark sepia a little bit. Blend this a little bit so that we have more of the dark color here. And go over it with the black pencil once more in strokes and little stains here. And let's try to build up this brindled fur here below the eyes. Blending the layers every time, so I'll go over it with the fingers during the drawing process. And here also let's add lots of those black hairs to to build up this fur structure and blend it and then draw strokes over it again. Here following the direction to the right side. Again when you come here to this clump of the light of fur it's um, more fluffy again. So we then need this um, strokes that are going into the lighter clump here that are very fine and thin and, and build up this fine fluffy structure. Here they can be rougher and thicker and shorter here in this uh, area here below the eyes. You don't need those long uh, thin lines, you can use thicker lines and they can be shorter, must be shorter. Push the pigment into the paper again. Okay, also work a little bit with here let's use the burnt sienna, the 283 a little bit and bring in here a little bit of the brown. I see here in the reference photo brown around the corners of the eye and here below. 
and also around the nose here a little bit bring in a little bit of the brown color here and then let's use the 182 the ochre the brown ochre and let's start drawing here brown ochre strokes going over this lighter stripe a little bit here below the right eye and also here bring in ochre strokes and let them overlap a little bit going over this darker part also draw ochre here over the transitions here between the darker fur here into these fluffy lighter uh, part here stripe here mapping in here a little bit of the ochre and also use the bista a little bit a little bit darker one and also then use the light uh, the ivory so let's start drawing in here ivory strokes and we bringing in all those lighter hairs that you see in this part of the fur so starting here here we have lots of those little fine lines I used the edge of my pencil that um, appeared while I was mapping in the base layer. It also works for fine details, but I cannot turn the pencil around. So it doesn't work when I turn the pencil, then the lines in this case will become thicker. So I use this sharp edge as long as it works and then I will sharpen the ivory here i can add some fine details with this edge some lines are longer and thicker and some are really short and thin okay this was a little sneak peek into my drawing lessons my students uh, can draw in my drawing courses my online drawing course Draw Life Like Animal Portraits in Pastels has opened its doors now. It's an eight week drawing program where you can move forward quickly. You will draw eyes, ears, noses, long hair, of course fur, dog mouth with teeth and tongue and all the details and an entire dog portrait in eight weeks. You will draw together and uh, move forward together, will be motivated and take advantage of the amazing experience and spirit and energy in a group, in a course group. You will draw together with other like-minded people. If you're interested in that eight-week drawing course, you can find information below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.